Hotel industry continues, however, on the whole to feel impacts of the pandemic as millions of staff remain out of work and new reports show record lows in consumer travel and bookings. Joining us to discuss the state of the hotel industry in the age of COVID-19 is American Hotel and Lodging Association President and CEO Chip Rogers. Chip, thanks for joining us this morning. Glad to be with you. Thank you. So let's talk about uh, what we're learning on the whole as we see that a number of uh, thousands of hotel workers recently told their furlough we we're going to end in layoffs. Uh, we see in the latest report from the American Hotel and Lodging Association that four out of 10 hotel employees are still not working. Almost two thirds of hotels remain at or below 50% occupancy. How long can the hotel industry sustain these kind of numbers? Not long, there's no question about it. Your last story was really inspiring. I would love for that to be the story across the country, but unfortunately it is not the story across the country, particularly in your urban city center hotels. Those are the ones that are getting damaged the most. And so when we look across the US and we had some great job numbers come out across the country this morning that showed unemployment had dropped to eight and a half percent. It's important to remember that in our industry, the unemployment rate right now is somewhere between 35 and 40%, about four times worse than the national picture, which in and of itself is rough. So millions of people without jobs. And if guests don't start coming back soon, many of these hotels will close their doors for good. Well, what sort of uh, perhaps federal aid relief has been coming to the hotel industry and what are you hoping for down the road? Well, when Congress initially passed what's known as the CARES Act, there was two, uh, two things inside of that law that, that were for, supposed to help. Number one was the PPP program and it has helped but it only lasted for about eight weeks. There needs to be another PPP for those businesses that have been hurt most by the pandemic. That's number one. The second program that was created, the Main Street Lending Act, has been a miserable failure. In fact, almost no money has been lent out. If hotels had access to the Main Street Lending Act, they would be able to survive until next spring, when we hope the story is very similar to the last story you ran, and that is people are back going to hotels again. If we can do that, we can save the industry. But without assistance, you're gonna see thousands of hotels closed for good. Do you feel as though the hotel industry has sort of been overlooked in this pandemic? Well, I, I don't know that it's necessarily been overlooked. I know a lot of people look at us and recognize we're being hurt. We were hit first, we were probably hit worst right there along with restaurants. So I think people understand the pain. The problem is, is that Congress has the ability to fix this and they can do it right now. Unfortunately, they're sitting around arguing about things like the post office. Now, I've got no problem with the post office, but that's that problem's been with us for decades. It'll be with us for decades. If Congress could come back right now and just agree on the things we can all agree on, which is saving these small businesses, then we could actually save some businesses and save millions of jobs. What do you think the impact is going to be long run if there isn't some immediate relief coming from Congress? Uh, do, do you anticipate uh, a, a number of hotels going under? Well, that's already happened. There's no question about it. That is going to happen. They'll go under, they'll close the doors, and they won't reopen for years. You'll have other hotels that will repurpose to something else. The bottom line is, is that's going to hurt our industry. It's going to hurt opportunities for consumers. And it's going to hurt local governments. I mean, we looked at the numbers this year. In 2020 alone, you're looking at about $17 billion in lost tax revenue just from hotels. That doesn't include all the other businesses around that support those hotels. And that's just this year. That number will continue to increase over the years if we don't save the industry. And that's what we're really pushing for is an opportunity to just to get from here, across a bridge, until we get past the pandemic. Well, what work is being done right now? Because it does seem as though a lot of the focus has been on the, the cruise line industries, the airline industries. I, I mean, really, I feel as though a lot of the, the hotels, aside from some of the big chains and announcing layoffs recently in the last uh, few days, uh, we're just not hearing much about a relief specifically for the hotel industry as a whole. Yeah, our, our business model in the hotel industry is very much like restaurants. It's a franchise model. So you may see that name that's very familiar at the top of the hotel, but the reality is it's almost always owned by a, law, a local small business owner. And because of this franchise model and because that most hotels are owned and, and classified as small businesses, they don't have a lot of extra resources. They can't go into the, into the markets and, and get more access to, to resources to pay their bills. They have a couple of months cash reserves. 
And when those doors close for good, those jobs are going to be lost because there's not investors sitting on the sidelines waiting to come in and scoop these up and reopen them. They won't be open for years. And so if we can just get that assistance for the next three to four months and get help like the airlines have received and other uh, large industries have received, then we can make it. Well, we're certainly uh, rooting for you. I know a lot of hotels are going out of their way to make things uh, extra safe for visitors. So perhaps uh, this weekend we'll bring some numbers to some of those hotels you mentioned that are struggling right now. But uh, Chip, appreciate the expertise and insight. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you.